<laughs> oh, so the right bouncing. There. Yeah. Oh, non-land permanent. I'm sorry. I mean for a pet harmonica. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. <laughs> Copy the song of the dryads. Yeah. No, you can have a forest. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to uh, Twilight Prophet, but that would have been three. I didn't touch you. I don't think I did a single point of damage. I didn't get through. Man says KO. Yeah, you like that Street Fighter aesthetic? I love it. KO. That's from four, which I liked better. And I wonder if that's my own bias or not. No, I think everyone agrees that four was just a better Street Fighter. That's right. I want to play Jury Master of the Review just so I can put Jury from Street Fighter. Well, I think she first appeared in Street Fighter Cross I Tekken. I would also like to put her in, uh, whatchamacallit, Prosper. Yeah. She functions off of Sacrifice of Permanence. Yeah. I think I have her in my prospective Corvold deck. I think I hit the round two button, right? The card I was looking for, by the way, and hoping to draw, was a batter skull, or or not batter skull, the worm coat net, mere battle sphere, or the uh, hornet queen, because I was going to regrow my two land hit. try again, regrow my champion of Lamholt, mm. and then cast a. Is that the one where I can't block uh, creatures of power less than it can't block? Correct. Yeah. In which case, I would have gotten, like, the Hornet Queen or the uh, Battle Spirit gets you four tokens. I would have gotten an additional four squirrels. So that's nine creatures that enter. She's a 10 10. Your guys that are less than 10 10 can't block, and all my guys are getting plus five, plus five. Nice. Did I switch the camera? Yeah, people have been responding to us. Yeah. Our microphone decided it didn't feel like being a microphone today. Uh, or my computer. It's crazy my how computer. inanimate objects can just do that. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's Windows. Well, it's, it's something. Somewhere in there is someone going, oh, I'll help, I'll remember. And now it's tripping over itself, not, you know, being refreshed. Anyways, so the microphone today is the overhead camera. Apologies for the audio quality. Do a great fire side chat. I got to be real quick. Okay. Definitely didn't do that. I can't actually bring a fireside chat because... Because uh, it's in the wrong chair? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine. Here, so join me in the study. In <laughs> All right, kids. Oh, that camera is kind of going out. Uh, you know, I had some things that I wanted to rant and rave about. So many. Evac karma. Hell yeah. Um, yeah, so... Post your favorite password manager in the chat. <laughs> I'm thinking about cutting Casualties of War and Bantu the Glorified from Grismold. They're just never good. What do you guys think? Uh, let's see. Also, announce. Also, I'll just... Not sure. Followers, let's talk about Warframe. No, it's not. Uh, yeah, fuck Discord. Oh, Discord features. Yeah, we got the, I call it the Barrows Circular. But if you don't play Warframe, who cares? Because we're playing Magic today. I had a showcase we talked about. Oh, yeah, okay, here's one. Here's one that I'd love more people to talk about in any context at any time. Can we, as a society, agree on the statute of limitations for spoilers? There's like, I've heard ongoing TV shows, people are like... <laughs> People are like, as long as the TV show has aired, then it should be fine. Anyways, that's that's absurd. All right. <laughs> Let me run out of Dad's chair before he beats me with his belt. <laughs> uh, kids these days. Yep, absolutely. So, yeah, for real, can we as a society decide on a statute of limitations for spoilers? Seriously, right. Like, I agree. I don't think... I don't think has aired is anywhere near long enough. No, I think you should get a week. A week? Yep. I don't know, man. I want to leave room for people like myself who like to let a series finish before watching it. And you could not do that shit with Game of Thrones. No, I guess. That's the thing. It's like... 
Ideally, so, people have a routine. Okay. You know? So, like, you go through seven days of the week with your routine. That is, like, you ideally said, I don't have time for other things because this is my routine. Yeah, So okay. if you don't watch the, se- the episode within that week, you're just not making time for it. Yeah, okay. So, like, everyone else, I think, should feel free to discuss the thing that they have set aside time for a week after it's aired. A week? But yeah, that's, I mean, that's, but you're going down to, like, um... Actually, who goes first? I pause. I go first. That's uh, for things that air once a week, not like things that yeah. are put, but, get put out at, as a season, like on Netflix. True. Um, but yeah, I mean, it sounds like a lot of what you're getting at is, uh, like, you should be keeping up with it, and if you're not, then you get it's fine to get spoiled. Mm-hmm. So, I think that's not enough time. Okay. I, yeah. See, I, I think the the week is fine, and if you specifically want to wait more than that, stay off of social media. Oh, that's. I don't think that's a reasonable thing to ask any person. What did I do it for? I specifically stayed off of social media for something, and then I watched the movie, and it was awful. Yeah. Pretty sure it was Spider Man. Probably. I fish. Psychonic Reformation, Mannequin, Profane Command. This this could be one of the best Spider Man movies ever. Yeah. I'm like, I'm so stoked for this Spider-Man movie. I I thought the guy that played Doc Ock in the second one was like the perfect casting for Doc Ock, Doctor Octopus. You know, where they were second one. Yeah, where they were so concerned with like how characters looked. You know, that guy looked like Doc Ock. Oh yeah, yeah. Depends if it's a show or movie. Yeah, it sounds like you agree with Alex, which is like. If you're not keeping up with it, then... Yeah, movie... I'd, I'd say movie you should get a little more time for. Yeah. Absolutely. Water grave check. Go ahead. <laughs> but, like, I remember... Oh, fuck. I think <laughs> I was... <laughs> I was in, like, um... What you call it? I was in high school. Which would be... Well after the release of Star Wars. And I said, like, you know, Darth Vader is Luke Skywalker's father. And someone was like, you spoiled it for me. And I don't think she was being ironic. You get, you, that's like three decades. Yeah. I mean, that was something from before we're born. Yeah, right. But also to that you end, does that mean that like all media from before you're born, it's just, forget it. It's been spoiled for you. It's too late. Mm-hmm. Um, Rosebud is a slut. Yeah. Well, that one's fine because that movie sucks. Right. <laughs> uh, Chris was talking about how it's there's like, like uh, there's some, some sports season coming up right now. Hmm. Uh, so people have been, like, posting spoilers for some reason. Uh, How? Okay. Well, no, because, like, uh, like, to spoil someone's season. Yeah. You know, like, they go into playoffs, one team loses, so their season is spoiled. Oh, okay. So, to make a joke about that, they've been going, Bruce Willis was dead the whole time, hashtag spoilers. Yeah. And, like, my favorite is, it's Gwyneth Paltrow's head. Mm. <laughs> and then it's your turn. Draw. Mm, swamp. Let's go. Yeah. Shit. Westvale Abbey, baby. I must have that on my list somewhere. At least for Griswold. Champion of Lamb Hole. Fuck, bitch. Go ahead. Uh, another swamp. And with this four mana, you know who likes me this game, which is pretty cool? Sun Quan. Oh. No, likes me. <laughs> Say go. Sun Quan doesn't appreciate... I don't know, did I do oh, something just... racist against Asian people? Maybe. Sun Quan doesn't appreciate me watching Uncle Roger and S- having a hard time S- not doing an impression. Simulate Grum. What's a plus what a cool one card. plus one counter on my champion of lamb hole. I swing for two. Kept one. I take two. Go get a swamp. Swamp. Uh, speaking of swamps, swamp. Three, four, five. Sigo. It's okay. It's okay. We're gonna pop off in a bit. Ugh, pop off. Well, <laughs> popping off is different from popping. No, pop off is a. 
cheap. Oh, yeah, it. yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> this is the cheapest. Chatterbang. Cool. Gets me counter on champion. Cool. Champon. I swing for four, five. She, like, whenever she attacks, no, whenever a creature enters, she gets a combat. Yeah, yeah, okay. Whenever a creature enters, she gets a counter, and creatures with less power can't block her. I got you. Or can't block creatures I control. Um. I hear what you're saying. Um, okay, I take four, five. five. I'll take five. Set. Yep. See, like, thing is, okay. First off, island. Oh, that looks like six. What a cool number. Um. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see what it is. Bam. Only one time. A timeless witness. She can internalize, but it costs green. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, you return a card from your graveyard to your hand. That's interesting. It's fucking interesting, man. Uh, where's Toski? Didn't get wasn't in there. Nope. No, it's fine. Beast within doubling season swamp. Oh, timeless okay. witness. Yeah, let me get a timeless witness. When I just about to feel like I get a card from my graveyard to my hand. Mm -hmm. Minions return. Cool. Passing on a notion thief for this. Sweet. Uh, devotion is three. Go ahead. Beginning of your end step. As we you bounce to target your Garuda. <laughs> I will heroes downfall it. Makes sense. Come on, big money. How do you know I didn't want to grab my time with? That's fine. That's the fucking definition of whammy, Dick. <laughs> Beastmaster Ascension. Cool. With the no mana. Swing for an unblockable three, six, seven, eight. Take eight. Oh, I can't block. Take eight. Three counters get put on my thing. And three of it is Chatterfang. And it's your turn. So mad. <clears throat> You've no idea. I'm so mad. Because I played a swamp. And a chromatic lantern. Don't even worry about color. But I am going to want to count swamps. Decently. Uh, four, five. It's not even block her, it's just block period. Mm -hmm. I got you. Uh, swing with a timeless witness. I take two. Say go. I mean, at least blank it. You're right, I'm gonna blank Get it. Get a card from your graveyard back. It's, it's another thing. Um, it should be... How would I know it should be? What? Are there no should be for Crystal Shard? Or an Unhallowed Pack? Um... No should be. Good. Yep. Oh wait, it's untapped because it got Blunk. Blunk. <laughs> <laughs> Forest! Holy shit! A Horner Queen! Nice. For the four 1-1 one, one flying death touches and the four 1-1 one, one squirrels. Strong. Giving me a total of nine plus one plus one counters. Cool. Six. Five. Move to combat. Here was helpful. Perfect. <laughs> uh, swing for five, two counters on the Beastmaster Ascension. Five? I'll take five. Three of the Toski go to six. And I've got some flying death touches. It's your turn. Okay. 
Remember to take the turn this time. Can you predict this play? I kind of telegraphed it badly. Coal coffers. Uh, <laughs> need to keep track of swamps. Yeah. For some reason. Yeah. yeah. And who could possibly guess why I need a lot right. of swamps? <laughs> or not even a lot, just to know how many I have. Yeah. And the answer to that question is five. Uh, so we're, uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. Five swamps, and uh, we'll just go like that. There. Swamps and non swamps. Five. Bam. And he can just be paid for with black, that's so cool. Oh, but the Cabal Coffers will specifically add black. Yeah. Because lands have tapped to add one mana of any color. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Which is why the Chromatic Orrery is... Yeah, because you can spend it as though it were any color. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so that would be five, and then six, seven, eight would solve that, leave me two, three mana. Let's go. And now my devotion to blue has been increased by spending only black. That's cool. A Jukabog, Forest, Swamp, Phyrexian right now. <sighs> Prana Prophet, Nirkana Revenant, Kaiga. Oof. Why couldn't you be spaced out? <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, you got Death Touchers? Mm -hmm. Kaiga! Shocked. <laughs> That's the right answer. Um, move to combat. Mm -hmm. Swing with a Timeless Witness. I will block it with a Squirrel. 1-1 one, one Flying Death Touch. Sweet. Flash! Minions return. When it dies, return to the battlefield under your control. And you get a minion's return back to your hand. I mean, it's not a bad plan. But I might want, like, just more stuff like an Arcana Revenant or Twilight Prophet. Oh, very possibly. Um, or a Crystal Shard. I can give it to you. Uh, let's see. I kind of want, like, destroy more of your shit. You know what? Twilight Prophet goes to my hand. Sicko. Oh, yeah. That's the end of my turn. Let's Thassa Eyes. Garuda. Oh, yeah, man. A worm coil engine. <sighs> what a Phyllis, though. Yeah, so good. And a steel Hellkite to just handle all of your tokens. And really, just you not having. A worm coil engine is pretty good. Alright. Well, still, Huckett would have to get around your flying death hunters, so. Phyllis. Well, mm, worm coil, though. Death touch and lifelink, that's fun. Phyllis. Good? Yep. Really total. 20. Can block your Chatterfang? 100%. Is that a thing? Yep. Okay. My guys get plus five, plus five. That's also a thing. So, yes, you can 100% <laughs> block my 8 8 Chatterfang if That's you like. Um. <laughs> hmm. 
I will do that with your Timeless Witness. But also, do you get an emblem with that, or is that just... Just as long as it's not okay. Uh Villas will barely survive blocking your Psalm Simulacrum. And your Timeless Witness in front of your Chatterfang. Mm -hmm. And then I think that's... Plus 12 is 19. Plus 24 is... Yeah. yeah. 43. Not a way to gain life. Yeah, fair. But I also draw 43 cards. Yeah. <laughs> Are you telling me that Beastmaster Ascension won another game? Crazy. <laughs> plus 5, plus 5 to a squad of tokens? That's never worked before. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, you also played a 7 mana card to give you all the... Like, I know! When I, I had the novel! <laughs> but I was like, Kaiga? Yeah. No! <laughs> yeah. Kaga's fun. When you He's, death touchers. He is the most threatening card ever. <laughs> I'm just like, shit. I really need to see a ooh, duplicate. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was that two? That's two. Oh yeah. Chatterfang got pissed, apparently. <laughs> that Garuda crushed him last week. Yeah. And he said, alright, we are again going to kill him before Sun Quan can show up. Yeah, exactly. This week you're like. <laughs> Strong, independent Leviathan that don't need no Sun Quan. <laughs> that was last week, yeah. Oof. Well, solid episode, for sure. Absolutely. So Paul, those thanks, for, thanks for joining us for this episode of Test Your Metal. <laughs> Where the audience can interfere in the game, yeah. theoretically. We uh, <laughs> remain untested. Yeah. It's true. It's true. Which, I mean, is the worst test, you know? Yeah, right, exactly. All right. Uh, yeah, so we're going to call it, and we'll see you guys Wednesday. We're going to watch Wanted, the 2008 one, mm -hmm. where they curve the bullets. It's got Angelina Jolie and some dude is the lead. Which really means Angelina Jolie's the lead. Yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, she was pretty much the main character in Beowulf, right? Yeah. Thanks for following, Zacchaeus. Uh, yeah. Gro um, like we are we are great it's at a, this. It's a new name. Yeah. Thanks for following <laughs> and we're gone. <laughs>